Hello, Mary Me. Good morning. How are you doing? I hope you are well. We are in a different space. This is a different angle because I was just struck by, I just need to do this and I need to do this yet again. I said that I was going to do it possibly. I was thinking about doing it before my birthday um, or by my birthday actually and this is before my birthday. It is several months before my birthday but um, I am going to change my hair. It is long and blue. And I mean, it's a pretty good ways down my back. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so hang out. Let's see how this happens. Okay, first. I have to get my handy dandy wooden towel clothes dryer, whatever you want to call it. It is an Amish clothes hanger, clothes dryer. All right, just boom, just puts it together so, so thusly. Now I have to accumulate the rest of my goodies. And you're like, what in the world is she doing? To where she needs a drying rack to do her hair. All right, next piece of the assembly. This is it is a platform. It is set to go across the bathtub. So when I'm in the bathtub, if I have to have something to do while I'm in the bathtub. Uh, now how in the world? Oh, I went into the back side. My bad. My bad. See? Okay. Now I have a platform. Boom, boom. To set all my, my tools on. We need a mirror. Um, we need our combs. We need our clips. We need our teeny rubber bands. And our little basket of, let me, little basket of this and that that we might need to hold bits of hair with. Oh, are we puzzled? Just hang out. Of course, we need our quart of water. Two of these a day. And uh, here's your water intake. All right, here I am in my space. I don't know if I can, uh, it's just a humongous pillow chair. I've got butterflies shooting shooting out my head depending on the angle that you get whatever whatever um all right so i'm going to just set you back down here i apologize if the google goes off but it's my companion okay so um what i need to do is to tell you what i'm doing okay so i am going to do a little quick change on this. Put the tripod back down. Just bear with me. Okay. Maybe that's a little bit better. Okay. There. Maybe that is better. I don't. I don't know. How about, how about that? Okay. So here is the setup. Boom. Now. You very gingerly walk your apparatus over to you. Now, we have everything that I should need to change my hair. I'm not going to cut my hair. I'm not going to color my hair. And I'm not going to...
curl my hair now or crimp it or straighten it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my yarn locks in. What are yarn locks, you say? Well, um, a while back I had been thinking about doing, uh, having dreadlocks. And um, I was just like, dreadlocks, you know, a lot of them are synthetic or a lot of them are made of wool. I have wool in my house. I crochet, I knit, I do whatever. So I created yarn locks. Well, I can't say I created yarn locks. I cut yarn locks. I braided yarn locks and then I put yarn locks in my hair. And um, here are the yarn locks. Yes, I can take them in and I can put them out. The last time I did this, it took close to um, about eight hours. Before that, it took me about 12. So what I do is, let me see if I can't, cannot get a little bit better light. Okay, that might be a little better. Now what I did was, I went and I found just the yarn that I had in my house. And I have a unique yarn. This is something, you know, it's just all squibbly squabbly. And um, one reason why I was waiting so long to put the locks back in my hair is because, you know, all of the locks, they can be taken in and out. Some of them just don't survive, you know, because it is just yarn. Yarn is just barely woven together, you know. It's just spun to where the fibers connect and click. So a washing and drying and over time, they just kind of disintegrate. So I cut, this is actually three pieces. It's already in a braid. Um, it will be attached at the top. I will not be lapping this on like a double braid. Um, I'll just be braiding this into my hair. So what I do with the clothes dryer, you say, what are you doing with a clothes dryer? Well, you see right here below where the mirror and the desk setup is, I have different um, different levels of the rods. So I just basically take and lay out my pieces so I can tell where the beginning is and where the end is. So I can identify length. Because as I put these in my hair, they're different lengths and different yarn. And such as this, I could make it a small, put it up in the front and make it a small double-ended braid. Or you can braid it to the side and have it be a little longer on one end than it is on the other. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. So I'm just going to sit here and uh, lay out my yarn. Okay, as I'm sitting here stretching out my yarn and laying it out, I am doing this so I can see how many pieces that I have to work with. Um, and I just pulled this out, which this is something that I also will braid into my hair. It is like a little little thin little scarf and it's pretty long you know it's um, it's a process a lot of my colors are around the colors that I have there are a lot of blues and blacks and see this right here I actually had this in my hair but I believe this right here is just a bit too much. So we'll just set that over here. That's more like a little tiny boa. And that piece right there is too small. And these are too small. But I will set them over there. And I mean, you know, each it's yarn that is braided together when it comes to the, the squiggly 
And you can see, you can see the rubber bands from where they were attached last time to keep the little wispies down. Oh, here's another piece. This is actually a beaded piece of thin cut fabric that I will be braiding into my hair. Trying to get all of the pieces that are already pre-braided. And then I'll be able to see what I need to add to it. And I also have um, some yarn that I have just acquired. And uh, I mean, you know, it's all different, different colors. And so I'll be making new pieces as well. So I thought you might be interested in that. That right there. Yeah, it's a bit time consuming. I mean, I keep them. And it doesn't matter to me if, you know, it has little, little where it's been knotted together. This doesn't really matter to me. I mean, because it's yarn for crying out loud. And I probably won't have these braids in my hair for too awful long. Um, just, oh, that must have been a Christmas one. <laughs> um, just, you know, until I want to change my hair again. It's getting, the reason I'm doing this is it's getting to the point to where it's, it's getting longer, but it's, I've not ever had it this long before. So, um, I having like a mom effect, my mom would cut her hair right before it would get to the length that she wanted it to be. So I am going to wrap and braid my hair in some yarn and that way it can get a little bit of a different feel to it. By that I mean it can look different. And you can see, see how I'm hanging all the pieces and that way I can tell what the length are. Tell what the length is. And then I have a ton of these loose pieces that I'm just setting over here to the side for in case I need to make a braid. I was wondering if I have where all the different colored purples went. There's a black. And they're different they're different thicknesses, different dense density as well. You know, um I mean, like, this is, like, super soft and fluffy. This is the type of that uh, when it gets wet, it just kind of fibers away. So a lot of times I do the dry shampoo, um, and then I would only, like, when I had them in, I would only, like, get my hair wet, like, once a week, you know, just depending on how sweaty I got. I mean, usually if I'm just inside doing creative stuff, I'm, I'm not getting sweaty. If I'm outside doing work in the yard, well, yeah, then I'm going to wash my hair. You know, and that might sound a little strange, but we all are different. And, you know, with my hair, this is how it's been for going on almost uh, 50 years, you know. So I do what works for me. Oh, look, that's a pretty one. Yeah, I kind of got this idea from watching Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, because of Jack's hair and a lot of times that's probably a wig or something, you know. But somebody has to sit and set it, so I thought about the person who put all of that stuff in, his, in the wig or in his hair. 
yeah, the majority of these are purple. Oh, here's another odd piece of something that I will put in. And this is actually something that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'll just wave, weave that in my hair as well. All right. I have about 36, 37, okay, I've got about 40 here, and I'm not going to put in these little teeny tiny ones. All right, now. The yarn. Like that's that's all that's not getting getting in my hair this year this time. Okay, so the yarns. These were yarns that um, I believe the universe speaks in a way uh, to me that's meant to be. I've been thinking about doing this to my hair for a really long time, and it just never come along. You know, I would look for different yarns and different wools and different samples of this, that, and the other thing while I've been out and about. And if nothing just reaches out and grabs me, um, it's, it's not meant to be. The universe is not wishing it so. So, that being said, my daughter just recently moved. And um, she has some of her stuff here in storage. And she gave me uh, some yarn. So I'm going to attempt. This right here actually looks like a dread to me. So, yeah. Oh, I just got a battery as low. Then I have some green. And then I have some multicolor. And I have some gray multicolor. And there's a pink. And then uh, here's some green. So I'm going to let my phone charge. I'm going to cut some cordage. And then uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay. Here I am, back again, you're at a different angle. Um, I make up a hair conditioner, oil, um, like mask thing for my husband's beard and it works great on the dry ends from where I stripped my hair color um, to put all the blue in throughout the years, but now my hair is gray, so it, gray and white and that's just what it does. So I take a little bit of the hair serum and I put it on my hands and then I just kind of just pull it down through the ends and then I will run it through the rest of my hair. So that way while the hair is wrapped it doesn't get excessively dry. All right, then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our handy dandy bamboo comb. I do not like plastic. I mean, I have plastic products. Do not get me wrong. You know, everybody has plastic. In fact, I have rat, rat tailed comb. And I had to go dig it out. I also have a little bamboo hairbrush. Non-similar paper bags. Good piece for you and your artistic you that I travel life. with. If you like these sticker bags, let me know if you like the sticker bags. Just give the hair a good comb. Let the oils, you know, work their way through. I use the bamboo because the bamboo really holds in the oils. And uh, it kind of pulls it through. Hang on a second. 
and you're wondering what is in the background. My dog likes watching me on TV. It keeps him calm. Because I do not have something on that was peeling. Oh, he might go insane. Okay, so there's that. It's time consuming. It's incredibly time consuming. It's been 20 minutes to set up everything and to get going on my stuff. All right, so I have these different colored yarn balls and they're sitting in my lap. I um, have a couple cut. Um, I have a couple big ones that I'm not really too sure of what I'm gonna do with yet. And I believe that's it. I'm gonna put in a little, that's that's too hard. That would be like putting rope in your hair. No. What is this? I don't know. All right, so let's begin. Now I'm going to start by sectioning my hair. This is, I'm not a beautician. I'm not looking to, you know, I'm sure everybody does their thing their own way. And that's me. That's what I'm doing here right now. I'm going to do my own thing my own way. And I never put this on video before. This is the very first time of ever doing something like this and sharing it with you. But hey, why not? All right, so I just go from the top of my ears with my fingers grab the hair and we're just going to pull it up in a bun and apparently I didn't bring any rubber ponytail holder for my big ponytail that's alright though I got a clip a little clip and another little clip alright so, this is the amount of hair oh, I have to work with. Oh, come on. All right, so. I can actually take and separate that one more time to where I get two locks in the back. I use a handy dandy little, another little clip. Clips are tremendous. Actually, I could probably do three. All right. Um, around the hair do a little twisty knot tie tie Then after we get down so far, I will take and separate the one hair lock into three. And then I will just braid it down. 
and it doesn't matter to me um, how tight it is, how loose it is, because, I mean, even the best dreads, you know, uh, synthetic dreads, you know, eventually your hair grows and uh, they have to be um, reconditioned and re reestablished. So that's okay. And so this is how I do it. I just put it in and braid. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna keep on braiding and uh, I'll flip you back on as I get further along. I have, I have five pieces in so far. I thought I would show you how I'm actually making these. I'm taking three different um, strands of yarn. I tie a knot in one end of it, and then I hold it with my teeth, uh, and I braid it. So it has one braided end, and then three strands. That's how I make it. Another way you can do it is you can use the handy dandy rod from your little tower. Use a clip to hold it down and then you just braid. So you just braid however, however long you want the extension braid to be because it's going to actually make two dreads. It's going to be like a double dread. It's just one end is already dreaded and the other one is going to get braided into your hair. And I don't usually do them even like the exact same length. I will leave the um, dreaded part that will be a little bit shorter or a little bit longer than the other. So it kind of gives a little bit of depth and volume to my hair. And then when I get ready, I will show you how I put this in my hair. Day, home, coffee first, get it done. So busy. So busy. Okay. That was <laughs> oh, here I am. I'm still at it. I mean, it's very, very time consuming. You're doing doing your hair, but I have, I have all these in so far. Look at that. Um, I use these little tiny clips to hold the piece up top to the scalp and then I just braid it in. You just braid it in. Great clips, dry Just braiding away.